Okay, in the previous video we have prepared the if statement checks for different cases. Uh, in this video we'll finish it off. So let's return in the first if statement. Okay, and we want to call structure helper. We calculate middle point. And here we will pass a left node down plus new vector to int and zero and modifier distance from wall. Okay, we'll implement it in a minute. And as the second parameter, we will call left node up minus new vector to int zero and modifier from wall so let's copy this name plus this dot corridor with okay and at the end we'll want to pass the y value of our point that we have generated so first of all let's create this variable here so basically this is the distance from a wall that we want to preserve int modifier distance from wall and let's say set it to one and we could expose it and set it in the corridor node but basically this is that we don't want to immediately create our uh, corridor at the uh, corner but rather we want some distance from it okay so now we need another brace at the end of this statement and now we need to generate this calculate middle point so let's alt enter generate this method and let's go to structure helper and implement it okay so this will be pretty simple method so let's change this to v1 and v2 and let's change the definition to be public and what we need to do is calculate a vector 2 sum equals vector v1 plus v2 and do we have to cast those no i don't think we have to great and next vector to int temp vector equals sum divided by 2 and we return new vector to int and what we want to return is int our vector uh, temp vector dot x and in value of our temp vector dot y and let's change the name to be uh, lowercase e great let's go back to corridor node so we have this point and what is going on here i think we are returning the wrong value here so let's go to the definition and we are returning object when we want to return a vector to int okay in structure helper in the calculate middle point method great now we can go back to corridor node and we have it all working okay let's copy this statement let's paste it below Let's delete the values that we pass. Okay, and let's copy it uh, to the other statement so we know that we have to fill in those. And let's start from the second if statement. Uh, so here we want to pass right node down plus new vector to int zero modifier distance from wall. Okay. And as the second parameter, we want to pass a right node up minus new vector to int zero modifier distance from wall plus this dot corridor with close the brace. Great. In the next one, uh, next return call, we want to call a right a right node down plus new vector to int 
0 to mo uh, modifier wall distance okay and as the second parameter left node up minus new vector to int 0 and modifier distance from wall okay great let's delete this line and last uh, in the last case we want to return a left node down plus new vector to int 0 to modifier distance from wall close the brace and below we want to pass a right node up minus new vector to int 0 modifier distance from wall plus this dot corridor width now i'm sure it was pretty fast that i explained this but if you think about it for a minute i think you can come up with why those values are passed here because we need to pass appropriate points for the calculation and at some points when this is maximum value we want to reduce it uh, by this modifier distance from the wall and by the corridor width to not go over uh, the maximum point okay now with that's done let's return to our process room in right left relation and at the end we need to check if our possible neighbor's right structure is uh, greater or equal to zero or if it is less or equal to zero we need to set our right structure to be structure 2 and we need to call count on it so else we want right structure to be equal to possible structures to zero and now our issue where we do not know if those two rooms can match so we will need to implement uh, first we need to calculate the y value uh, so get valid y neighbors for our left and right and we will simply pass left structure dot top right area corner and left structure dot bottom right area corner okay let's format it a bit and next we will want to pass right structure that we have recently found top left area corner and our right structure dot bottom left area corner so we now have calculated the y value that is a possible value for our uh, corridor position and we need to check well y is equal to minus one so what happens in case where those two rooms can't physically uh, match because they are not neighbors well if sorted this left structure dot count is greater than zero we can simply uh, sorted list structure called sorted list structure equals sorted left structure where and again sort it and call child such as child top left area corner dot y is different than left structure dot top left area corner dot y and at the end we will call simply tool list so we simply delete current structure from our list so now left structure equal sorted left structures zero and basically we should probably check here if it is greater than or equal to one well it is greater than one so to not end up with no structures left okay and then we can get y equals get again the, this we need to call and something went wrong here uh, so change the right structure okay and we need to again calculate y value here as well and until we get the other value then minus one so you might ask what happens when there are no structures and we end up with minus one well basically there shouldn't be such a case but if there is nothing uh, that i know of will happen so the corridor will stay in this position of minus one okay so bottom left area corner equals now we set the new corners for our corridor 
so it can be created so we call new vector to int left structure dot bottom right area corner dot x and our new y sorry x and our new y and our top right area corner will be equal to new vector to int right structure dot top left area corner dot x and y plus this dot corridor width so basically we start okay so, uh, i didn't add the comma here basically we start at the bottom left area corner it will be the most uh, the left structure that we have found at its position x and our y calculated and it will end in the uh, position x of the right structure and the corridor width uh, we add to the y value to make sure that the uh, corridor is large enough uh, for us to pass it okay so we are done with this part and the good news is that we have the same amount of code to write for the up and down direction so as of now the github repository should be updated by the files that we have created right now and uh, i strongly encourage you to copy the code for the up and down version from there and in the next video i will simply rewrite this into our code and the next next video will be visualizing our work so our corridors and our rooms at the same time so you can start from the next next video and just simply copy the code from the github so see you in the next video